imposed a historic dusk to dawn curfew prohibiting movement in the entire country between 7 p.m. and 5 a.m. Only persons working in essential services will be exempted from the decree that takes effect this coming Friday. The move came as the number of COVID-19 cases in Kenya rose to 28 amid the good news that one patient had fully recovered from the virus. Stephen Leto begins our coverage tonight on the unprecedented countrywide dusk to dawn curfew. The president's speech was highly anticipated. <laughs> Light of growing uncertainty in the country, and it was bitter sweet, announcing an elaborate economic stimulus while imposing a rare countrywide dusk to dawn curfew. That effective Friday, 27th March 2020. There will be a daily curfew from 7 p.m. to 5 a.m. in the morning. And this shall be in effect in the territory of the Republic of Kenya with all movement by persons not authorized to do so or not being medical professionals, health workers, critical and essential service providers being prohibited between these hours. The president making the announcement against the backdrop of the rising number of COVID-19 patients in the country. And today we have received confirmation of an additional three cases bringing our national tally to 28 confirmed cases. The curfew came in the wake of growing concern that Kenyans were largely ignoring many of the safety measures announced by the government since the first case of coronavirus was confirmed in the country. These additional measures have been taken as a clear result of Kenyans failing to heed to advice. Let us not find ourselves being forced to take even sterner action. The announcement also coinciding with the beginning of an overall ban in all international flights into Kenya starting midnight. The head of state now urging Kenyans to strictly observe the basic requirements to keep the virus at bay. I therefore once more call on everyone to wash hands frequently, to use hand sanitizers and soap, water, for at least 20 seconds, to cover our noses and mouth when coughing and sneezing, social distancing, whether we like it or not, is now our new normal. Nonetheless, the president had some good news. Today, we have registered our first patient who has fully recovered from this virus. This, fellow Kenyans, is a clear indication that we can and indeed will defeat this virus. With the government introducing more stringent measures to contain the spread of COVID-19 in the country, Kenyans continue to display a casual attitude towards the most infectious virus in the country that has brought giant economies in the world. On their knees, Stephen Latos, Citizen TV, Nairobi.